John in his centre was really keen to be a founding member of the technician's commitment. And the reason for this is the huge value we place on our support staff uh, with respect to their contribution to our research. Uh, not only do they provide a continuity and, and a knowledge of um, how complex equipment works around the place, who are the go-to people, but they actively engage also in, in frontline research and play a major part in initiating many of the key discoveries that we make here at the John Innes Centre. I really enjoy working here. There's um, amazing facilities. So we've got a lab support team, we've got a horticultural services team. Uh, we're, yeah, we're very spoilt with what we've got to help us on our day-to-day -day work. Not many places that have this level of, uh, of service. Obviously the, the teamwork here is critical in this team. Um, we get together at 11 o'clock every day to process all of the consumables that have come through the autoclaves um, and then we sort of rotate around the site. Um, looking after quite a, quite a big area with um, a total of 16 locations, eight glass houses and eight polytunnels. So I kind of manage the lab, um, so I make sure that everyone's got everything they need, that um, health and safety is being followed, but I also have my own project, which is good. I also help people design their experiments, carry out their experiments and look at their results. So I enjoy technical roles because they're not, they're not too high pressured, but you still get to be involved and develop really sort of specialist skills and you can become a real expert in, in particular techniques and because I study for electronic and te technology, so I prefer to work with the machine. You know, we're, we're very fortunate to have a lot of really skilled people in our team. With time, you develop a lot of skills that are kind of transferable. So if you want to change a job, if you want to look for another opportunities, or work in a different uh, area or a research area, so you can. So that, that's the kind of nice thing to work as a technician and evolve yourself professionally as well. Uh, we do a lot of work with training of PhD students, visiting workers. So if people want to come and learn how to do transformation, they can come to us and have hands-on training. Or we've got a whole extensive range of protocols and online tutorials that people could use as well. I love working at John Innes. You get to meet a variety of people and I've done a lot of different jobs, so it's been interesting. People are always really friendly. Like One of the first things I noticed when I arrived here was like, the amount of people who just smile as they're walking around, which I, you know, is quite a good feeling. And the other thing is the diversity of people that you find, that we find here in this workplace. You generally don't find it in other workplaces, so it's nice to work with people with different nationality and ethnic groups and, and cultural diversity. And I think there is, not only are you kind of working for probably one of the best places in the UK to do plant research, uh, we also work with some phenomenal scientists. Well, personally, I'm, I'm passionate about science, and I think that, that goes for a lot of people in the team. Um, so. Even though I'm not doing the research, I'm trying my best to sort of help along wherever I can really. Taking away a lot of the mundane work that the scientists wouldn't, or would have to do in other situations and hopefully that means that they can spend more time on their research, you know, on their results. Well, I also feel that my job is important and is going to have relevance to the outside world. Working with wheat is um, a vital thing that people understand, people eat and people are going to need in the future. Postdocs and students are mentioned a lot of the time, and obviously group leaders even more so. Uh, but actually, the work that's being carried out by, by carried out by all the technicians is is very important to the day-to-day -day work of the lab. A lot of the time, people may not know about us, and but we're without us, it'd yeah, be a lot harder to kind of get things done. I think the technician commitment is really important especially at an institute at JIC where technicians can kind of fade into the background and say, oh, I'm just a technician and that's all I am. But technicians bring a load of key skills to science and where would scientists be if they didn't have technicians? So sometimes they might not know that technique in their lab and then all of a sudden a technician is there and they can do it for them. And the other thing that's really good about the technician's com commitment is it's a really nice um, forum for really empowering and connectivity of those support roles as well so that there's quite a lot of diversity within those roles but actually sort of sharing um, experiences and supports I think can really help sort of um, promote those roles as well. And I think it's really important that people are aware that there are careers outside of the, the standard sort of you know project leader progression sort of posts.
At the John Innes Centre, we're very proud of all our technical staff. We want to ensure that all staff, no matter what the job description or grade, are recognised for their work, are visible and have excellent training and career opportunities. We're delighted to be part of the technician commitment. Um, we are striving for continual improvement for all staff so that all staff are valued.